Hey guys, Adam here with AmericanMuscle.com and today we're taking a quick look at and installing the MP Concepts rear window louvers in the matte black finish available for the 08 and newer Challenger. Very simply put, you should be checking these out if you're looking for a unique modern styling at the rear end, something that takes a very classic retro muscle car styling part and adds a nice modern unique spin to it. Now this is something in the louver category that definitely stands out in my opinion. Louvers at the rear window at least are typically using the same type of pattern, right? They have slats going all across, usually about five or six of them that go from one end of the windshield to the other. This one actually fixates that in the center portion and gives you two open windows on either side with a full rim around the outer edges. Now that's something again that stands out in the category amongst other ones that typically all look pretty similar if not the same. This guy here is made from an impact resistant ABS plastic, very similar to some of the other ones out there, but it's got a nice matte black finish. Now it's a smooth matte black. Some of the other ones out there are a textured matte black, so if you're into that sandpaper-like texture, some of the other ones might be for you. This one's definitely a lot smoother. Has a very, very slight sheen to it. It's more of a satin finish than a matte black, but still compared to some of the other gloss options, definitely something that's a little bit more muted. Now, if you're looking for a stealthier styling, this is a great way to go, but this is also available in a gloss black finish if you're looking to add that almost metallic shine to really mimic that of the OEM paint. This guy here offers a liftoff design, which is also a little bit different than some of the other options out there. Liftoff designs are not unique to this one in particular, but it is few and far between with some of the options in the category. So the liftoff design allows you to basically take off these thumb screws all the way around on each one of the brackets, lift off the louvers while keeping the brackets attached to the windshield so you can easily pop it back on. The reason for this is to help you when it comes time for cleaning the windshield. So if you're taking your car through a car wash and you wanna make sure the windshield gets a thorough cleaning, pop the louvers off and allow for those scrub brushes to completely contact the windshield. The same thing goes for if you're washing your car in your driveway. If you wanna get better access to the windshield in between the louver slats without having to just stick your fingers in between that, pop the whole louver off, clean it off, throw it back on when you're done. Again, no hand tools required. You can do it with your thumbs. Now this guy here is gonna run you right around 200 bucks not necessarily most affordable entry level option in the category, but because of that unique modern styling, bumps up the price just a little bit because it is so different. Install, one out of three wrenches on a difficulty meter. It'll take you about an hour or so from start to finish. It is a very simple process. The only thing I recommend having on deck that isn't included in the kit would be a soap and water mixture and a squirt bottle along with a clean microfiber. If you don't have that on hand, some of the alcohol wipes included in the kit will help you out. I'm gonna show you guys the entire process from start to finish. What do you say we get started? Tools used in the install include a soap and water mixture in a squirt bottle, clean microfiber, and a couple of alcohol wipes included in the kit. First step for the installation here, we have our louvers face down on our table. Now we also have the foam uh, bubble wrap padding face down as well to help protect the surface of the louvers there so it doesn't get scratched up on our table. What we're gonna do is start applying the 3M strips to the pre-installed brackets on the back side of our louvers. Now before we actually do that, you wanna grab an alcohol wipe included in the kit. There are two. You're gonna open that guy up and you're just gonna clean off the back of each one of those brackets to prevent any of the dirt and dust from prohibiting a good bond with the 3M. You're just gonna give it a quick wipe on each one just to make sure you're cleaning that guy off. And you wanna of course let the alcohol dry so it's not wet when you're applying the 3M. Very simply like that, let that guy dry and then we'll install the 3M. Now when it comes to applying the 3M, you don't wanna peel off the red backing you wanna peel off the white backing. The red backing is gonna to apply to the windshield. Peel off that white, center it right over the bracket, put firm, even pressure on the entire strip, repeat that for each one. All right, again, you may wanna go over all of them and just put, again, pressure all around to make sure that 3M is stuck. And you are welcome to use adhesion promoter if you'd like when you're applying these. Of course, ours is going right back to stock, so we're not gonna be doing that. But at that point, we can start moving on to cleaning the windshield. 
Heading over to the windshield, this is arguably the most important part of the install process. You wanna grab a soap and water mixture and a squirt bottle and a clean microfiber. If you don't have this, you can use a couple of alcohol wipes, but this is definitely recommended. You wanna avoid using things like Windex to clean your windshield because that can leave a chemical residue behind that also prohibits a bond between the 3M and the glass. You just wanna use a simple soap and water or alcohol wipe. Now, we're gonna clean off this glass, specifically the areas that the 3M will apply to, but ours is pretty dirty, so I am just gonna focus on cleaning the entire windshield. This way, getting rid of all the dirt and dust that would prohibit the bond between the 3M and the glass um, is taken care of. We wanna make sure we're being very thorough with this. And you wanna make sure you're letting the glass itself dry. Same thing on the other side. All right, now we can grab our louvers and apply it once this glass is dry. All right, so once you peel off the backing on the 3M, you're gonna line up your louvers using the bottom and top corners on one side to help align this. Bring it down here, and I'm gonna focus again just on one side at a time using those corners. I'm gonna push down on the 3M over here to get that to stick and get a good bond, and then I'm gonna head over to the other side and do the same thing. All right, so I like the positioning it's in right now even on both sides, pressure on the three end points, and there you have it. Now the last step here is to apply our foam padding. Now the foam padding is gonna prevent any rattling against the windshield, especially at highway speeds. The plastic can tend to do that, especially when you're going faster on that highway. So what you're gonna do is peel off the 3M backing on the foam blocks, and in the corners of the center piece, you wanna lift up just a hair, once you have that guy tucked in there, you're gonna put pressure so that foam padding gets to stick on the glass, and you're gonna repeat that for each one of the slats on both sides. All right, there you go. As you can see, that's gonna prevent the rattling there, and then you can just continue along on both sides. Perfect. Repeat that exact same process on the other side. I very quickly want to show you guys a quick demonstration of how this actually works with the liftoff design. Starting on one side, I'm just going to take off these thumb screws. Just twist those guys off by hand. You can use a 10 millimeter if you really want to get them on there nice and tight, but getting them by hand actually does do the trick. You're going to start on one side and just work your way around to the rest of them. All right, so once you have one side taken care of, just head over to the other and do the same exact thing. Perfect, once you have every single one of them taken off, Carefully lift up on the louver, making sure that the brackets do stay attached to the windshield. You may need to head from one side to the other to get that done. All right, once you have the other side taken care of, lift and set aside. And then when it's time to put it back on, carefully drop that into place, putting the studs from the brackets back through the holes. All right, and then of course, take those thumb screws and put them back on. You wanna make sure they're nice and tight, all the way secured back down to the bottom.
All right, with the last one in place, you're good to go. That's gonna wrap up my review and install for the MP Concepts rear window louvers in the matte black finish for the 08 and newer Challenger. Get yours right here at AmericanMuscle.com.